a U.S. Navy plane has arrived in Ecuador as part of the bilateral security agreement signed between the Ecuador and the United States. Many analysts are questioning this deal and are concerned about Ecuador's future. Ecuador's Defense Minister Osvaldo Jarrín and Interior Minister Maria Paula Romo welcomed the United States Navy plane in Guayaquil. The U.S. Navy flyovers are part of the military cooperation agreed between the two countries. The P-3 Orion airplane allow us to strengthen our monitoring, surveillance and detection operations, not only for transnational crimes, like drug trafficking, by different types of transnational crimes. For some security experts, the current government's proximity to the U.S. government and its military institutions has raised concern. According to the analysts, the U.S. Navy flyovers over Ecuador's airspace violates the country's sovereignty and territorial integrity. This airplane has the capacity to carry missiles, bombs, etc. So this is not just an intelligence airplane. That's what our main concern is. The government said it was going to be only for intelligence and data collection purpose. So why is it equipped to carry bombs and fully capable of striking? After several violent attacks on the northern border of Ecuador, the government decided to sign a military cooperation deal with the U.S. The government also decided to invite the U.S. Office of Security Cooperation. We must ask ourselves what Ecuador's role will be in the policy the U.S. is developing towards Venezuela and its government. I think a policy is being consolidated in the Andean region and Colombia's role is very important due to its long tradition of military intervention in regional politics, especially now that Duque is leading the country. After the arrival of the U.S. Navy plane, several analysts and security experts have decided to form an organization that will closely analyze the bilateral agreement. Meanwhile, opposition and social organizations have called for a protest on 13 of September in Quito to condemn the latest economic measures and foreign policies implemented by President Lenin Moreno. Denise Herrera, Telesur, Quito, Ecuador.